Greetings and welcome back to Tarot Tuesday. My name is Paula and um, today we're going to talk about the Emperor. And <clears throat> when I do these, I normally try and give you some uh, common overarching themes for the card. Um, I like to also tell you um, about some of the symbology, uh, you know, what the card is ruled by, its ruling planet, any astrological references for it or anything like that. And um, the Emperor is the number four card in the deck. So, uh, of the Major Arcana. <clears throat> and remember that the Major Arcana relate to like major uh, life events or um, events that are pretty much set in stone where the minor arcana or the suit um, there's a little bit of flexibility where in other words the choices that you make um, can have an ultimate effect if you're pulling mostly cards in the minor arcana where if you're if you've got a major arcana card coming up um in some kind of um you know one particular part of a layout that major arcana card will overrule the other cards that follow as like modifiers or anything like that so the the major arcana are the more you know life event kind of set in stone um and the, it's pretty much a sure bet that that's going to be the complete guidance um for whatever the category is the layout you know the querence que questions and things like that now for the emperor <clears throat> in the upright position um and here are some of, uh, the Emperor is ruled by the planet Mars. Um, and it's also affiliated with the zodiac sign of Aries. And Aries rules the head and the face, okay? So if you're doing um, like health readings and things like that, sometimes... You know, if this card comes up in a health reading, it could indicate an issue with the head or face. Um, so, in the upright position, um, and to look at the symbology on the card, too, when keeping all of this in mind, you have the emperor sitting there. He's very stern, okay? He's very kind of... Um, forceful looking and you also see you know that he's got a scepter and a globe um, with him and that indicates his authority over all okay um so this is unlike the empress which was the first one you know we we went over last week she was a very passive card the Emperor card is a card of action, okay? So it is, you know, a very reactive card. He's going to dictate to you that you need to do something. Um, so in the upright position, um, the Emperor card is all about authority. Um, it could be like a father figure. It's about structure having a solid foundation um and he's telling you to rule with your head and not with your heart okay he's wanting you to use your head and make good logical choices um it's a masculine and when you think of like a father figure think of him like putting his foot down you know making you obey the rules kind of thing it's an authority figure um, and, and I always call this the wait till your father gets home card, um, because that's kind of what it is. You know, he's just sitting there kind of shaking his finger at you. Um, 
the emperor has authority and he wields it um, with power. It's not a passive thing. It's an active power. Um, so it's also about control. It's about the law. Um, he also tells you, um, like in money readings, um, he's telling you to keep control of your spending and to pay attention to what you're spending your money on. Because if you don't, it's going to bite you in the butt. Um, and in, if you have a female querent and you are doing a love reading and the emperor comes up, this often indicates that a love interest is coming, but he's going to be an older, more mature uh, person than the querent and almost, um, you know, that kind of like fatherly figure kind of thing. It's good. There's going to be a pretty good age difference between them. Um, now, in the reversed position, it can mean, um, you know, someone who is domineering or having dominion over someone. Um, it, it can be um, like a control freak, excessive control, you know, the, uh, the micromanager. Um, and it can also indicate inflexibility. Um, so when you're doing your readings and I like to give you like, um, different kinds of categories and generally over all, since the emperor is the fourth, the number four card, in the major arcana when you have a lot of fours in a reading so you know if you follow up with a lot of you know it suits with the number four coming up um this is the fruition or the manifestation of an idea um along with having your foundation down tight for to build um, that idea on and space and room for things to grow okay the main focus of the Emperor is on like construction formation um, solidity that that strong foundation um, the appearance of someone or something that will change the status quo and it's an opportunity to um, enter into like a new partnership, relationship, or a different lifestyle. Now, as far as desires, in other words, what you want to happen, um, you will see things manifest on the physical plane in the form of material gain or a recognized accomplishment. Um, now in romance, now when I say desire, I mean like you're, you're not physical desire, you know, physical desire. I'm talking about your wishes and those types of desires. Um, <clears throat> where romance is concerned, um, he can, signify that you're thinking about the one you love and you want to be with him or her, okay? Um, and they're going to be thinking the same about you. In other words, the one that you love will be reciprocated. Um, however, if the person that you are setting for is not attached, and I said earlier, if it's a female, it can usually indicate that a male that is more mature, older, can come into their life and play a very significant role um, in the romance department. Now, as far as like the unexpected, um, you're going to have like unexpected good fortune. Um, or like 
you will have arrived almost, uh, especially with things like uh, business or financial matters. They'll end up working out in your favor. Um, for the home, you're going to be thinking about someone who exudes a lot of influence over you and um, can almost be like a dominant force over you, okay? Um, as far as like your emotional state is concerned, somebody's going to come along or something will happen that's going to lift your spirits and actually provide you with a new foundation for your future. Um, and it could actually change the course of your experiences to date. It can put you on a new path and put you on a better path. Um, with regard to your family, um, if you've been planning to visit family, um, that visit's going to be postponed. Um, it can also mean, like in with respect to your actual relations with someone, it can indicate that a family member is lying to you about something very important. Um, or what I call uh, lying by omission, uh, in other words, misrepresenting the facts so that it'll make them look more favorable. Um, but they're not, you're not getting the entire picture. Um, for your physical body, uh, the emperor indicates that you'll be worried about a physical condition, either yours or a condition of someone that you care about a lot. Um, and it can also be an indication that you need to pay attention to your teeth and your mouth area, especially. Um, if, when the, if you have had a condition and you are concerned about a tumor or, you know, a biopsy that was done, the emperor indicates that the results will be benign when they come back. Um, and sometimes in, if he comes up in a relatively kind of, you're in a new relationship and you're kind of wondering, you know, what's going to be happening with you. It can be kind of the, how can I put this? Kind of, well, I'm just going to put it out there. It could indicate to like not let your first sexual experience with this new partner deter you from going on because the sex is going to get better from then on. You know, it's going to be better the second time around. So, you know, it may have been a little, de you know, disappointing on the first go round, but you're going to become more comfortable and more, um, simpatico, you know, uh, with each other as far as your sexual needs are concerned. Um, your finances. Um, the emperor is telling you that you can expect an increase in your finances and it will allow you to spend, um, you're going to have enough to spend money either on gifts or little luxuries. Um, and if you had problem collecting a debt or collecting money from someone, um, it's going to be resolved. Okay. Especially if someone wrote you like a hot check or something like that, um, you're going to end up getting your money. Um, he also is telling you that you will embark on a new line of work or uh, a new kind of money-making venture, um, a new thought, um, and it's going to replace an old, um, way of doing things. 
and someone will want to develop a future with you or to legally consent to your relationship okay so that's kind of like you know a, a bundled up bunch of statements about timing okay um now as far as anxiety is concerned you're going to be troubled thinking that you're just kind of plodding along um but if it's referring to work, but if it's referring about how you feel about your relationship and your inse insecurities in like love relationships, um, it can mean an extramarital affair or a very sordid kind of relationship. Um, and where disappointments are concerned so you know when that reversal comes up um it can mean that you're going to be disappointed in a partnership and what you thought was a solid foundation was actually just sand and everything is literally crumbling down on top of everything else um and endings you're going to make the decision to move on um because you're your relationship could be, you know, um, unsatisfying. It's disappointing. You're going to, you're, you need to just cut that and move on and put it behind you. Um, where new beginnings are concerned, um, someone or something will appear that will, allow you to bring a concept that you've had that you've put a lot of thought and kind of conceptualized fully it's going to put that into motion and let you start to realize that new way of doing things and it's going to end up um to your favor favor um now with your fortunes luck will be with you um in material affairs or like your employment things like that um and it's going to come through the entry of someone who is one of those like go-getter um take charge kind of people um to get things to solidify and and to move something forward now the blessings of this card are that you will be grateful for the elimination of something that was oppressing you and holding you down, holding you back, keeping you from realizing something that you were working on, like bringing the project to fruition or to an end. Um, it's going to make things a reality for you, okay? Now, the special guidance of this card in the mundane world is that there is going to be an opportunity that will arrive um, that can be the cornerstone or the foundation of an extremely successful venture. Um, in the esoteric realm, that if your foundation of whatever was built correctly, the manifestation will follow. But if you built, you know, something on unsurety, on a shifting situation, um, if things that were going on around you, you didn't have all the facts, um, you're gonna have to rebuild and start all over. Um, so now the major outcome um, of this card is that you will achieve most if not all of your desires and someone very likely it's a male kind of very strong figure um, will be beneficial um, 
and helping you realize what it is that you want to achieve. Okay, so there we are. Those are the major um, correspondences for the emperor. Um, I hope you found this informational. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you next Tuesday. Be well and walk in love and light, everybody. Bye.